Hello guys, this is Gio, and in this video I'll give you my uh, best uh, tips to overcome the first win card in Hammer Black. So when people try to pick this up, they will encounter two major difficulties. The first one is uh, the feedback. The feedback can sometimes be really hard to feel, sometimes almost non-existent. And the second difficulty is, of course, rotating the pins to the correct orientation. So first, let's talk about uh, feedback. So people say the log gives you, gives you really little feedback. It is true, but you you will feel something. And there is why. So let's zoom on that pin. So those pins are interlocked, but even those are interlocked, you can see they can wiggle around and you have some opening there and there. So you will feel when the driver pin is correctly set at shear line. You will feel something, you will feel a feedback. However, yes, it can be really subtle. So my advice is to go extremely slowly and just trying to, to concentrate and really be aware the feedback can be very subtle. So yeah, about rotating the pin. So it can be quite a pain in the in the butt, but um, my technique is to use a very uh, thin pick. So for example, I use uh, Sparrow's uh, short hook in uh, fifteen thousand. And oops, let's try to zoom. What I do is. Uh, I kind of do this sort of motion here, like this. And that will rotate the pins back and forth. And eventually you will get to the correct position. Um, so yeah, sorry for the crappy quality when I zoom in, that's better. So. The fact that the pin can rotate 360 is not that much of a problem because let's say the pin is correctly orientated in uh, in this orientation there. Well, it can also be it will be also correctly orientated in this orientation. So every 180 degrees the pin will be correctly rotated. So it's not like you have to do a complete turn to just just get uh, one correct orientation. Now you have to do just 180 degrees of turn. So eventually, by doing this sort of uh, motion with uh, with your your pick, you will get the pin to rotate in the correct orientation. It may take uh, as little as two seconds, or sometimes I can struggle for five minutes trying to to rotate the pin properly. But that's that's what happened with um, high security locks. Sometimes it's completely unpredictable, so you have to deal with it. So now, how do you tell when the pin is correctly oriented? So I guess you are you have uh, already picked a medico if you are trying to pick an M M art. So you should know what kind of feedback to expect. So when the pin is not correctly rotated, it will be very very stiff. So you know you 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 know you you need to you need to work on it a little bit more. When the pick uh, when the pin is correctly oriented, it will kind of you know disconnect a little bit here, and it will wiggle around much more because the plug is not. Oops, hey, where are you going? Because the plug is not uh, putting the, that much pressure here as it did when the pin was not correctly oriented. So yeah, the pin will just wiggle around a lot more and give off a very specific sound. It's like a tingling sound, or it sounds like a, a bell, just it's like click, 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 click. So that's uh, when you hear that and when you, you feel that wiggling, that means the pin is set. The best thing to do is you first to start picking your lock, you will unfill your first binder. You raise that binder at your line, try to refill for that feedback, and then you rotate it immediately. So that 
you, the plug will be able to turn slightly more because now the pins uh, are not uh, in, interlocked so you will be able to the, the plug will be able to turn a little bit more and that will kind of bind the next binder even more so you can identify it very quickly and uh, and voila what you do not want to do is to raise all the pins at shell line and then rotate them like you will do uh, with a medico with the hammer you really have to uh, rotate the pin as you set them at shell line progressively that way the, as I said the plug will rotate slightly more which will make the next binder uh, more easy to identify and you will just you will just go through the lock and set all the pin one by one and at the end you will just you will just have to to raise uh, a line one more pin rotate it correctly and the lock will open um, it's less uh, it's much less trouble than just to raise everything at your line and then struggling to, to rotate everything properly so yeah that's my best advice for you guys now for the pick uh, the picks I use so my hammerart has a, a Yale style keyway I think and for that, to set the pin at shell line, I use uh, two picks. The uh, Spyro uh, Tron works very well. And the uh, Sparrow's uh, short hook. Uh, this is a Euro hook, but I lost my, uh, my short hook. Uh, so I use that one to, uh, to get that uh, high cut pin, which hide behind those uh, two low cut. The Sparrow Trans is great because it has a very low profile, so it's first it's easy to set those one, but also it can really um, go under those very low cut pins and raise them individually without uh, oversetting them. Now for rotating the pins, as I said, you need something very thin. So for example, I use uh, the Sparrow's uh, short hook in uh, 15,000 to rotate all those pins here. I just have uh, lots of problem to rotate that uh, last pin with uh, this pick so instead for that one I use um, the very slim um, deep hook from the SSDF kit in 15,000 to rotate it and I do it from the bottom instead of the wording. So depending on your beating you will need to Try to, to find a way to, to use um, the most uh, efficient pick for that. But uh, yeah, for uh, rotating the pins, go with uh, 15,000 uh, thickness. All right, now let's give it a shot. I'm gonna uh, describe what I'm doing while picking it so you can have an idea of what's happening. So, let's break it a little bit to pick it counterclockwise because I uh, find the binding order much more easier to deal with um, all right so let's start so first pin to bind is pin 2 so I'm gonna go very slowly oh that was subtle <laughs> I felt something the plug turned very very slightly so yeah, you, if you are not uh, attentive, you, you, you will miss that. So now I use a thin pick to try to rotate it to the correct uh, orientation. Sometimes sometime you will get uh, lucky and the pin will be, you'll just have to mess with it for like two seconds and it will correctly orient itself. Sometimes you can spend five minutes uh, trying to rotate that damn pin. So it's unpredictable. Sometimes you are lucky, sometimes you are not. 
for example, right now I'm not feeling lucky. So I'm gonna release a little bit of tension and the pin dropped. It's okay to drop pin sometime. Uh, you can do uh, much more than that. Okay, I hear something. Very small click. I hear a wiggling sound. You hear that? So I think it's correctly rotated. So let's move on to pin one, which is the next binder. So slowly hear that. That was a nice feedback. The pin we go, so I guess it's good. Oops, pin two dropped. Sometimes that happens. Oops, sorry, no, it's, it wasn't pin two, it was pin three. I, I went a little bit too far. Okay, pin one, pin one, and pin two are correctly rotated. Do you hear that? That tingling sound. That means they are correctly rotated. So now let's move on. Oops, pin uh, pin three is the next binder here. So again, slowly trying to get under it and hear that. And I am lucky, it is correctly rotated on the spot. Okay, so now let's move on. Pin 4 is the next binder, but in my lock, pin 4 is a very low cut. So, gotta be extra careful. There you go. Oh, fuck my, oh, my roommates are making fucking too much noise. Okay, let's just wait. I'm I'm also lucky pin 4 is correctly rotated. I told you sometime it it's almost instant instantly sometime you can spend a lot of time doing that. Okay, now pin 6 is binding, but my tron is a little bit too um, low profile for it. I need to go under pin f uh, 4 and 5 to access to it, so I use uh, a short hook instead. Slowly. Oof, that was nice feedback. In the process, I think I set a pin five because it's uh, so low cut, and there you go. Uh, voila, so nothing really uh, that obscure, you re you just need to, how to say, you just need to focus on the, f uh, on the feedback the logs gives you. And if you, you, you set the pinature line and rotate, it, uh, rotate them right away, the lock will just open for you. Not so fast. So first, I just wanted to make a small uh, recap here. So first, use moderate tension uh, and try to be very attentive to to the feedback the pin will give you when it's uh, set at shear line. Two, uh, rotate the pin immediately after setting it so that you don't have to to do it later. 
three, remember, use a really uh, thin pick and use a back and forth uh, motion to, uh, to rotate the, the pin. When it's correctly uh, rotated, it will wiggle like a medical pin. Uh, four, uh, repeat for uh, the next binder. So that's how you're gonna open this uh, very nice lock. So this is it uh, for you, how to pick the hem art. I hope my advice will uh, be uh, useful for you and uh, I'm hoping to see your uh, picking videos. Alright guys, thank you very much and uh, thank you for watching.